Hello world, it's like a different way of living. We're all artists. Dancers are artists, singers are artists, painters are artists. I love the fact that I met some really nice people and I asked myself like, what's making these artists so nice? I think because a painter can go into a room alone and paint something, I think it allows them to be in their head more and not get so competitive. I have choreographed uh, body painted dancers, you know. Um, Beyonce had some people painted in a show she did once upon a time. I also got to work on a show in Vegas called Jubilee. We wanted to paint the people, but we decided to paint their unitar. It's fascinating to see how much you can do with paint. Ballet, I love ballet. Um, you know, like I think Balanchine did a ballet on Baryshnikov, you know, like, Baryshnikov is the reason that I'm, da I'm a dancer because he really made it not look wimpy. You know, I play basketball and I just always tell basketball players, wouldn't it be interesting if you could dunk and turn four times before you dunk the ball? In my day and time, like there's not many choreographers that people can mention, you know, other than Fossey or Jerome Robbins or like Fred Astaire maybe or Gene Kelly. So that's been my goal, is to bring back the movie musical and be a household name and they can say, well, that's Frank Gatson stuff. The best thing about working with Rue is I think his honesty. I was in New York working with him and I was telling him about this real loud, crazy, obnoxious, ignorant girl on a uh, train cursing out this woman. He said to me, he says, Frank, you know, um, that's who that girl is. And I went like, wow, but she was rude. But he, but he went on to say, that's what she knows. That's who she is. And I'll never forget that because it allows me to, like when I work with artists, it allows me to see who they are before I create something. Like you can do anything because of your honesty and no one can judge you if you're being honest. So I've learned how to be very honest from Ruth. CNN, people to watch. I was kind of forced to talk about just dancers, but I would have probably talked about my act, Luke James. He was nominated for a Grammy last year. He was nominated for a Grammy this year. He's been around me for 15 years. He just totally gets it. He's not He's not fearful on stage. He knows how to be honest on stage. He's more on a Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke type. After being in the business for 35 years, you know, I, I've helped out the Beyonce brand, I've helped out the Usher brand, I've helped out the Tony Braxton brand, I helped out the R. Kelly brand, I've helped out the Jodeci brand, I helped out the Invogue brand. Now it feels so good to have a brand that I helped create that I will be able to manage, that I will be able to totally direct the career into an Elvis Presley type spectrum. The greatest thing that I teach anybody, and in, in, especially Beyonce, is honesty to always try to strive for the most honest performance on stage, the most well-prepared performance on stage. If you're gonna be in my room at a rehearsal, and Beyonce understands this more than anybody, rehearse, do something with us. When you're out front by yourself, alone, you have to prepare. And that's one thing that Beyonce does. She prepares, and I think I taught her that. When I first met Michael, it was on the set of The Smooth Criminal, and I always remember his fingers, I don't know why, because they were so well manicured. As much as Michael Jackson was there, I remember his mother there. She was just eating popcorn, and you know how when you eat popcorn, you do like this to the salt, get it off your finger? I said, wow, my mother does that. And then I knew I could make it. I must be someone that can be as great as Michael Jackson, because his mother did this with the fingers of the popcorn. I told them to dismiss fear. I wish I could go back to high school knowing everything I know now, everything. All the time that I wasted because I was fearful of what someone was gonna think about me. So you should not be fearful of anything because life is just that special.